Welcome back to devoblog.com and here's the division part 3. If you miss part 1 and 2, please click the link found at the description of this video. Let's start. Okay, so we have example now sa ating division. We have 10,848 divided by 12. So, 1 divided by 12 cannot be. So, next, i-combine natin. 10 divided by 12 cannot be. So, next is 108 divided by 12 is equal to 9. Ngayon naman, ang 9, i-multiply natin sa 12. So, 9 times 12 is equal to 108. After nito ay subtraction. So, 108 minus 108 is equal to 0. So, no need na natin ilagay ang 0. So, bring down natin yung 4. Now, 4 divided by 12 is equal to 0. So, 0 times 12 is equal to 0. So, ngayon, 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. Now, bring down 8. Nagiging 48. So, 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. 4 times 12 is equal to 48. Ngayon, isubtract natin. 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. So, walang remainder. So, sa checking naman, i-multiply natin ang quotient at ang divisor. So, 904, which is the quotient, times divisor, which is 12. So, is equal to... So, first, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Ngayon naman, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. And 1 times 9 is equal to 9. So, kunin natin ang sum nito. So, 8. 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. And 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So, ang sagot ay 10,848, which is yun ang ating dividend. 10,848. So, tama yung sagot natin. Another example. So, 15,500 divided by 150. Okay, so sa 1 divided by 150 cannot be 15 divided by 150 cannot be also. So 155 divided by 150 is equal to 1. So 1 times 150 is equal to 150. Now, is subtract natin ito. So 155 minus 150 is equal to 5. Bring down 0. So, 50 divided by 150 is equal to 0. So, 0 times 150 is 0. So, ngayon is subtract. Bring down 0, bring down 5, bring down 0. So, 500 divided by 150 is equal to 3. So, ngayon naman, 3 times 150 is equal to 450. So, ngayon, i-minus natin. So, 500 minus 450 is equal to 50. So, the remainder is 50. Pagkatapos, i-check natin kung tama ba yung sagot. So, 103, which is the quotient, multiplied by our divisor, 150. Okay, so, equal to, so, 0, i-multiply sa lahat ng number. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 0 times 0 equal to 0. And 0 times 1 equals to 0. So, let's proceed. So, next is 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So, bring down 5, carry 1. Next, 5 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Next is 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Now, let's get the sum. I-add natin ito. So, 0 
0 plus 5 equals 5. 0 plus 1 plus 3 equals 4. 5 plus 0, 5. And then bring down 1. So the answer is 15,450. Huwag natin kalimutan na meron tayong remainder na 50. So plus 50. So 0 plus 0 equals 0. 5 plus 5 equals 10. So 0 carry 1. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then bring down 5 and then bring down 1. So the answer is 15,500. So magkapareho sila. I hope meron tayong natutunan sa mga examples natin ngayon. Hanggang sa susunod ulit, paalam! Yeah.